Uh, well done, guys. Starting off with Rohit, how does it feel to be the hero of the day today? I'm, I'm really happy with the performance. So, uh, looking forward to do good. And then as a captain, I also want to ask a question. Um, did you expect to win today, uh, waking up to think that uh, you would break the hearts of Hong Kong this, this afternoon? See, this tournament is such that uh, we've seen a lot of ups and downs. We knew that uh, we had to, we still hadn't played our best cricket. So for us, I think uh, it was a good toss to lose, I would say. Uh, probably the wicket was, I mean, we would have probably batted first as well. But I think our bowlers were very disciplined today and to restrict them for 150 odd runs. We knew that uh, on, the, on this wicket, if a couple of our batsmen bat well, uh, we would be able to get there. But in the end, after 60 odd for five runs, I mean, five wickets, uh, the way Rohit and Sompal batted, so um, it shows a lot of character. So very happy for these young boys. Traditionally, uh, the team that bats first on this wicket usually gets to win. Um, you are under pressure today. What was the strategy that uh, helped you restrict them to 150 odd? I think we just disciplined bowling. We just stuck to our areas. Uh, our medium pieces gave us that foundation earlier, early ahead, and then afterwards the spinners just uh, kept taking wickets regularly. And batting-wise, yes, we had a decent start with 40 out for no wicket, but then in the end we had some kind of a mini collapse. But still, uh, Rohit and Sompal held their composer and uh, managed to get us through. And then the final question to both of you. Obviously, uh, Super 6 and uh, World Cup qualification is out of reach, uh, but what does this mean for the people of Nepal uh, just getting here and getting the results that you got, uh, starting off with the hero of the day? Uh, it's uh, good news for all Nepal, Nepal people. Uh, we are now looking for the seventh and eighth position, so to do good in next match. Yeah, I mean, you see, we want to stay up as higher as possible, uh, so we'll have uh, one more go uh, for the seventh and eighth playoffs, and if we can repeat the kind of performance just like we did today and maybe improve on this, I'm sure we'll be able to get that win that we need to go into the seventh and eighth playoff match. With some of the performances that you guys uh, had in this tournament, some brilliant performances, if I must say, um, can you say you guys are now ready as Nepal to challenge some bigger sides and uh, get to play a lot more uh, tougher sides? I think it's all about opportunities. Uh, if we are presented with uh, matches against good teams, I'm sure we have the potential to do well. It's just about getting used to the conditions and getting used to this level. And for us, uh, like I said, Having played the 2020 World Cup in 2014, we have always backed ourselves to do well. In the 50-over format, yes, we haven't done as well as we could have. But uh, having played Division Two in Namibia like a couple of weeks ago and coming through there, and right now we're competing against some of the best teams at associate and test level. So it's just a matter of opportunity. And if, we, if given that opportunity, I think we have the talent and the uh, resources to you know, uh, challenge some of the bigger teams as well. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.